Howdy lads and lasses and welcome to more Rim World Naked Brutality. Now, this is going to be uh, the second incarnation of this run because, um, well, obviously, our last group died. Which, you know, is unfortunate. Let's just make this rogue because I'm conceited. And 50% because I want to have some possibilities here. Now, uh, I'm a little sad that the last run ended so quickly. It simultaneously lasted a lot longer than I thought it would, and ended a lot sooner than I thought it would. Cause see, I thought I would die within the first day or two, and so I would have like one episode in most of the incarnations. But then, generally, I'm pretty good at RimWorld, at least like in the survival sense. So, I thought, okay, well, if I can get past the first couple days, maybe get some clothes and a weapon, I should be fine. No, no, apparently not. Apparently, we're gonna get a drug overdose and die super early. So, this world looks decent, I guess. What's this look like? Alright. Can I land here? No. Well, that's okay. Um, I think I want to put... Wait, that's tropical rainforest. Uh, in case you can't tell, we're not doing it randomized this time. Because I feel like that was half of what got me killed. Uh, so early. Is it was in that type I'm not used to playing. So, for this incarnation, and this incarnation only, we're going to be playing... Um... In a map type I select. Which, on a river should let us uh, work around with the new uh, water power, you know, the water generator and the water insulated power conduits, and the mountains should give me some stuff to mine, but it's not too hilly, so yeah, that looks good. All right, let's look for the best guy here. Ooh, he's incapable of dumb labor. That's literally going to be impossible. Mm. Well, looks like I'm actually going to have to go out of my way to get a playable character this time. Too. So that's terrible. Mm. Man, that was, this wasn't that hard last time. Alright, um, ooh, no. Trigger happy, jealous, staggeringly ugly. Okay, none of those are immutable, undoable. But the stats aren't. Oh, you, no. Um, indoorsman, too smart. Endorsman, kind, night owl, high social, high mining and melee. Uh, had the constructions too low. That is zero construction. That's terrible. Man, this is just not my day, apparently. I normally have a lot better luck with this. An addiction, and that'll get us killed. Ah, high construction, mining, plants, and crafting. Endorsement, too smart. All of this is good so far. It's young enough. The only thing I don't like here is that there's zero shooting. 
but the too smart will let me train that up to a decent level fairly quickly. Alright, so this is going to be Jane. Hard agree. With the nickname of Rogue. Just because. Now, uh, the first person to comment on one of my RimWorld videos will be the name of the next survivor. Just think about that. Uh, these generation screens take way too long when you're recording. It's kind of ridiculous, but I mean, it's not a fault in the game. It's a fault with my computer, probably. Uh, I'm not sure that this loaded in the 64-bit format this time, so it's even a little bit slower. So, that's not good. It's the same story as last time, because it's the same scenario, so it's not really anything too different there. Um, apparently the only cave in the area is going to be here, and that's... oh, here's one. Both of them have giant holes in the roof. That doesn't make any sense. And this one has insects in it. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we'll come see if this is an ancient danger. And then we can block this off. And if this is an ancient danger, we'll leave it alone. But if not, we'll use that as the main base. And then we can run some water power along here. Maybe grow something up here. Or over here. And that should work, until I can build some rooms in here. Alright. Ooh, but over here would work too. I could even grow food in there. Hmm. And it is closer to the mountains here. It would be useful. There's no denying that. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start building. Building. Growing. Right here. Right? Rice plot one. Make sure it grows rice. And then put a door up. Oh, right. Well, up to it, Skippy. Wow, no wood. I thought those were big enough. We kind of need some wood. Thank you. Now, equip one. Because that is, in fact, a thing you can do. These take 25, so I'm still going to need more. Hopefully those will give us some. Great. I should probably put a remove roof area right here. Oh, and hey, that's a building right there. So, uh, let's claim that. Deconstruct. Okay, maybe it's just bricks. A wall, maybe? 
Alright, I'm gonna go tell the guy who just messaged me that I am recording. But it looks like first, I'm going to be setting her restrictions better. Alright, indoorsman too smart, so this is not the night owl one that I was looking at. Three hours recreation, the rest work. Berry bushes. Okay. Makes sense. Which means these are just regular bushes here. Alright, now we're going to need to set up. One of these bad boys. And a butcher's spot. I suppose a crafting spot would be necessary. I'm going to want to craft a short bow. And a club. And then here we're gonna have a butcher creature to forever. What is the closest creature we can kill? A rat. Alright, looks like we need to chop some wood. Go ahead and start building a wooden bed here, eventually. Hmm. I forget, what was her construction skill level? Seven, with a burning passion. Alright. So if we build a watermill generator, which is going to be super expensive, um, probably won't have to worry about power for a little while because we're not going to actually have anything to use the power with except for like the freezer and the uh, cooking. So if I just place one somewhere around here. This actually looks like it might be the best area. So, I'll place one here, and then I'll run power conduits away from it, up here. Alright. So then I can start building an actual building up here. And that should increase my odds of surviving for a while. Although, what kind of building do I really need first? Mm -mm. A fridge of some sort would be nice, but not really necessary. Hmm. Let's 
see, I want this uh, metal here, but I don't want to dig into this cave there. I'm going to go ahead and get the compacted machinery. Now focus on mining first. Hey, why? Why, why are you doing that? Mine. Excuse me, I said mine. Oh, dear lord. I don't like having to set up manual priorities when there's not really anybody else to be doing anything. Um, because it winds up going really poorly. Right? But, in this case, I'm gonna have to. I, I've literally prioritized having you mine over you chopping wood, so why do you keep chopping wood? Oh, because you're constructing, apparently. That's just great. Here, go harvest that so you can have something to eat. not starving now. Alright, then I guess we can come down here for the metal. A combat supplier, huh? I, we don't have anything to trade, so why, why are you coming out here to just meet the little rogue here? Why are you sleeping there? Are you stupid? <laughs> That's top 10 on uh, the list of things I never thought I would say to myself. Are you stupid? Now, I don't exactly have anything to trade, but let's go talk to him. Uh -huh. Turns out he doesn't have anything worth trading either. I think I might have taken maybe the pistol. Maybe the Molotovs if I had the money. Yeah, go get that dead rabbit. Oh, well, harvest some berries while you're out here. Nice. The rabbit didn't put up much of a fight. Cook the meal. Why would you do that? 
you didn't have enough hunger for the whatever. What good did that do you? So as far as I can tell, the um, when the watermill here, what is it actually called? Yeah, watermill generator is a steady source of power, which makes sense. Um, so I'm not going to need any batteries because they won't do me any good, at least long term. So that's one research I can probably skip over for right now. Um, they don't give enough power to even like run a single solar lamp. So they're not exactly useful for anything like that, but how much steel do I need for this? Only 80, so I think I can cancel this for now. Prioritize working on that. If you can get some power, we'll do a lot better. You feel? So once we have a steady source of electricity, that opens up a whole lot of opportunities for us. From uh, fridges to defenses. I don't know that we actually have any defenses we can run off that right now. Yeah, we don't, but lights, um, electric stoves, nutrient dispensers, which will cut down on cooking times. Right below me. Nice, nice. How are you relaxing socially when there's no one around? And then I think it said it only needed six construction, so that should be super fast. Or no, that was the skill level. That used to be how long it would take. No, no, focus on this because you're starving right now. Wow, that's a lot of components. Note to self, take ship parts if you need components. All right, so because those will fall apart, let's make a little stockpile here for components. Manufactured components. All right, let's go back. Take them. Okay, seriously? I obviously want you to take all of the components. Please? Thank you. That's 35 components. That's a lot. Probably not going to have to worry about components for a while.
Apparently I've had my microphone charging all night and the battery just died. Um, let me plug it in here. Here we go. And it looks like that's going to be a wrap for today's video. So uh, help me out, uh, that's Rogue and Rogue here, by leaving a like and sharing the video if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see them rest. They will be uploaded every other day at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I hope to see you then. See ya.